Hey guys, welcome to a new tutorial today and this is going to be about editing or saving some basic data using player preferences and player preferences are a really easy way to just you can see a lot of different examples around YouTube and things on the asset store that you can find which will let you say really basic um, sort of pieces of data. Now player preferences there is necessarily as it suggests is to save you know your preferences that you might have done for player settings and stuff that might not be edited all of the time because it's not as an efficient way to save data if you need to access a lot of data and you need to do it all of the but if you're actually just editing or saving very small amounts of data it can be a really nice way to do it and it can be quite fast and easy so what I've got so far is I've got the player prefs editor and utilities on the unity asset store and you can see it's rated quite highly and it's free so you can just import this into your project and it'll allow you to if you go to window and you go to player prefs editor you will get a little pop out which will pop out up here and you can just drag it wherever you want and I've just docked it to this side and it'll show you whatever's in player preferences without you either having to make a debug or trying to find it yourself so it's a really great way to see if you've saved anything to player preferences before you know you've even started so you can see I've not really got anything here but the things that have already sort of saved into unity by default so we can start off in any sort of scene that we've got so we can go on a scene and I'll just select the main camera and I'll go to the inspector and I'll add a new component and what we can call this is call this we can call this save prefs and we'll just press enter and we'll create and add a new script and then we'll open up in Visual Studio and once we're here in Visual Studio what we're going to want to do is as I always do I like to get rid of the two starting methods and there's a few things that we can do to actually save out the data that we've got so we can do this in let's say a start method it doesn't really matter where we put it specifically but in the start method is a good way just to do it when we actually um, start up initially and we can just go and start off by writing player prefs that's how we initially access the things for the player preferences because it's built into unity specifically and we can do a series of things in there so we can say dot set float int and string and they're the most common types of actual things that we're going to save you can say dot set int and then you can have brackets and then inside your brackets you want to call this something so you want to give it a name so you might want to give that a name of score because that's what you want to call this bit of data that you're going to save and then you can put a comma and you can have this as 20 and that will be the score that we're going to save. we're going to save a value of 20 if you really wanted to you could create yourself a variable up here and call it your own score and you could replace the 20 with the variable so you know you could update that on the fly whenever you need to and just as another example we can use player prefs dot set float and then just as we would before in brackets and in quotes we can call this float score for instance and then we can have a, um, a comma and call this say like 27.3 um, F with a semicolon on the end so we're saving a float value there and we can do exactly the same thing and my last example will be player prefs dot set string and then you can call this my string if you really want and then in your comma here it can be help me or something like that just as a, just as a pure example and then we can save that out and that's all well and good so we'll save an integer a float and a string and that's all realistically we need to do so we've already got this script and I'll play it on our main camera if it isn't just drag it on and what we can do is we can press play and when we've played once it will do it'll run that start method and then when we go to player prefs edit you can see that we now have three new things saved in player preferences and you can see that it's score uh, float score and my string and you can see all the things that are there now that's all well and good we've actually managed to save some data within the player preferences and that was you know incredibly easy and now so what do you want to do if you want to load some data or find the data out or put it somewhere else what you can do is you can use um, something called you can use player prefs dot get and we can make a something new and we can just put this in the update function let's say as an example and sometimes when you're looking for data you might want to check if the data exists before you try and load it because it might throw up an error and say oh you know I can't find it so what do we do then we can say that 
just as an instance of, of what we've got, we can just say if input dot get key down and we'll just write E in here. And what I'm doing here is I'm just going to, every time I press E, I'm going to be able to output something. So we can say that if, and then we'll, in this instance, we'll say player prefs dot has key. And at this time has key means we're specifically looking for a value that we've already given it or some bit of information that we've already stored. And in the brackets in the quotes, we can write store because score, sorry, we had the score up here set to 20. So in this instance, we're looking for if player preferences actually has a value of score, which we do have because we saw that in the player preferences editor. And then what we can do here is we can say debug.log and then in the brackets here we can say player prefs dot and here's the difference we can say dot get int and then in the brackets in the quotes we can say score so in this instance in the debug dot log it's just um, to give us a debug example and we're actually saying that this time we're looking in the player preferences and we're getting the integer that was based in the score so the integer which we saved here which we set you set to save, you use get to almost load it, and you can do that. So what we can do is we can minimize that. And now when we press play within the scene, what we can do is we can see that nothing's happening, but when we press E, you can see that the debug.log output the 20 that we've managed to almost get from the player preferences. So it's in, in its entirety, we can do exactly the same thing for something else. So we can do exactly the same thing and we can let's say we copy this exact line and we can paste it here. If there's, if player preference has key of float score, then we can look for the get float as in the float score again, just like so. And we'll get the two values out of there. And you can see when we press play, we can press E and we got both values at that instance there. And just as in the same way, if we choose to load some specific value, so say we created a new function, we'll call this load prefs, for instance, and then I have two brackets. And what we could do here is we could essentially, when we want to do something, we could create ourselves a new variable up here and we could call this square brackets serialized field. We could say private int my loaded integer or something like that. And then we can say my load int equals the what we're going to look for is the player prefs dot get int and then equals score so we want to be able to say we want to call this specifically when we press e we'll say something like load prefs and then two brackets in a semicolon so when we press e we'll expect it to load and fill our actual variable that we've got with the score that we've got in itself so what we can do is we can go back into the scene, make sure we've selected the main camera. And you can see that my load integer here is zero currently. If I press play, you can see that nothing happens. If I press E, you can see that now that variable, when I pressed E, has been filled with 20. So we've taken that value from the player prefs editor, which is the score there, and we've filled that with specific information. So all you can see to use player preferences to save out some absolutely basic data, which might be uh, integer floats or strings, which is going to be the, the very most common sort of types that you're going to probably want to save out because other things are not as important to save out. And you can load with that using the get int, get float or get string. And you can check something with the has key. So it's incredibly easy to do and it's really powerful for saving some basic data. So thanks very much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Cheers.